Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Gamers Den. Previously on X-Men, anyone who grew up during the 90s that, um, to, to 2000s, and I, I think this X-Men went all the way back to the 80s. I could be wrong on that, but the X, the original X-Men show, anyone who's ever watched this knows that infamous line and knows that they, that the X-Men one was said today against the evil brotherhood and various other villains um and sometimes we team up with some other uh, some other Marvel characters at the time well today we're going to be looking at not on well not only today but for the next five weeks kind of this week we'll be looking at various X-Men characters that I feel like just don't get a lot of love anymore and we're starting off with one of my favorite members of the Brotherhood that being the infamous Blob now this guy is well, I might want to pull him up, but yeah, I do remember that this, what this guy's power set is. Now his mutation basically makes him kind of hunt, kind of chunky, to the point where he's basically a big hulking mass, mass of what looks like fat. But like the kingpin, Wilson the Fisk, don't let that fool you. This guy will. This guy is pure muscle. Well, let me see here. Marvel. The Blob. There we go. Now let's see. Okay. The guy's real name is Frederick Dukes. And, well, uh, let's see here. Now, he, he, he usually depicts it as eating a little, a little bit too much than he should. Um, and he has been part of it ever since. Now, let's see. Um, let's see here. He's got uh, superhuman durability and strength. He's got a penguin and a trapping. So basically, he can basically any any projectile or well entangling limbs can be basically releasing it and then and then and then get the pressure out. You know. Uh, and projectile redirection. He he's basically on. Um, He's basically like a bit of rubber. He's just really strong and mass shifting. Okay, he can. Okay, I did not know he could like manipulate his mass. This is kind of cool. Um, and he got a secondary mutation a little bit later on with stretching. Okay, that's just weird. He's got physical strength. Now, some of his weaknesses include. Now, for all of you guys who attempt to go after this bad guy, you got Project Projected Energy Attacks for Scott Summers' Arctic Blast. You know him better as Cyclops. Basically, if he gets if he gets enough enough like power behind it, boom, Blob is taken down for a little bit. Okay, he basically most areas of his mouth are susceptible to injury, just like any other one, and he's vulnerable to a concussion, of course. Blob has a higher alcohol tolerance than a normal human due to sun, so he can still be intoxicated. Okay. And he will like a mutant growth hormone to maintain his health. Oh, Jesus Christ, I knew that. Um. Now, this character is very different. He's only appeared once in one movie X Men Origins of the Wolverine. I'm really hoping he gets a second chance. Same goes for all those characters in that movie. Deadpool got one. Let's see some of these other characters get it. You know. Um, next, um, he's appeared in most iterations of the X Men cartoons. Um, both of the older versions from the original set. Um, I do know he was in X Men. Uh, uh, Evolution, which was aired during the early two thousands. And the guy definitely was one of my favorite stories though. I love this character. Um, of course, like pretty much most Marvel characters, he's got various figures and such. Um, another major appearance is um, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. He, he is a playable character, or maybe Lego Marvel Super Heroes, sorry. He's a playable character um, in that one. You actually need him to get an achievement for basically the Brotherhood. 
He's one of my favorites of all time. I would love to see him as part of the MCU as well. All the rest of the X-Men characters, villains. I love the villains. Um, the Blob, however, kind of falls under the radar. I think most X-Men characters kind of do. Unless they're Wolverine, Professor X, Cyclops, Beast, Jean Grey, aka the Phoenix, and, and Storm, maybe. Storm every now and again. Then, for the other side, the way I see a lot of the heroes are like Colossus and um, Iceman are pretty well known. But as far as the villains go, most people only really, if you walk up to me, the average Joe that just happens to know a little bit about X Men, really the main ones they're going to know are Magneto, Sabretooth, and Mystique. Maybe the Sentinels if you're lucky. They'll probably call them the big, big gigantic robot things. But that's about it. Most of the other villains kind of fall under the radar, I've noticed, unfortunately. Now, I would love to see Blob as a pop. I would love to see him as a Funko Pop. That'd be awesome. I'd like to for that one. But, with that being said, Blob is kind of, like, underappreciated. Not by the studio, not by Longshot. He is used. And seeing him live action, not the best representation of the character, mind you, but it was still cool to see the character. Um and everything, but, um, and he's appeared in a lot of the X-Men cartoons, so he is used, he, and in the comics, he, and in various games, and all that, he is still used, he's just not, I don't think the public really knows about this character as much as some of the other mainstream characters. Yeah, you have people who know Saber Foods, or and all that, but they don't really know the blob. And some of the other characters will kind of, I think, fall under the radar a little bit too much. You have to be a comic book buff or have watched a couple of the cartoons and liked them, mind you, and remembered them, and to remember this, these, some of these characters. Oh, sure, nowadays with the MCU, characters like Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver are well, well known with, um, with those characters, but... The blob has kind of faded away to a certain extent, as far as like to the the public's con conscious. But comic fans know this villain is a very big part of the Brotherhood, and in my opinion, probably one of the better ones. I love this character. But then again, I like all the, the various characters that are bigger, bulkier, and stronger, like the Colossus, the Juggernaut, and, and the Thing. I love these characters. And of course the Hulk. You can't, you can't go wrong with the Hulk. Everybody loves the Hulk. But the Blob is one of my favorites because, well, he's just so cool design-wise. And I really hope they go with this, the original design with... Now he's very bulky. He basically looks like a big fat guy. Um, anyone who's watched Left 4 Dead at the Left 4 Dead game playthrough that we did, y'all remember the Boomer. This, he kind of looks a bit like that. He kind of looks a bit like a boomer from Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead series. Just, he you know, explode. Um, he has, um, a primary, primarily dark blue, um, uh, spandex? Um, like a, a singlet that holds his bulky frame with a yellow, uh, like a mustard yellow stripe, um, boots that are really, really big, and, mm, hold on a second, I might have to put him up again, hold on, I might have to be able to pull up a photo of him, give me two shakes of the lamb still, keep it going lamb still, we go, here's a good, here's a good photo of him, and, uh, let's pick him up, let's go with his classic comic look, here we go, this is the blob in his very earliest design. There we go. Tear it a little bit. And let's see. Now let's go for a little bottom look. Let's go for a little more recent. And as you can see, he's very bulky. Very, very bulky. Usually, he's seen eating something. Um, he has had controversy surrounding him. He wants a bluff another whole thing with him. But yeah, with the X-Men characters that we're going to be looking at, 
looking at it, there were like four of them that were villains, with only one of them being a hero. Well, well, well. Um, but yeah. As far as what I'd rate this guy, as far as like villain scales go, approach with caution. And make sure you have the right, you know, tech that you can make. And basically, make sure you're big enough that you can you know, play some daylight out of the sky. Or have optic glass like Cyclops or something that can just like, you know, completely, you know, mess, mess with him a bit. Get enough energy output or smack him one in the ears good. When he captures you, bingo, you got it. You got him. You got him on the ropes at least. So just remember that. Um, and with that being said, guys, um, let me know down, down in the comments what you think of the blob. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Let me know. Um, be sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, go down in the comments down below, and let me know what you think of the video overall. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye.